Hi everyone, it's me, Janet. And today I'm going to talk about the top 10 tips for helping with Invisalign pain. And as a registered dental assistant, one of the top things that patients came to our office and asked about, besides how much Invisalign or clear aligner treatment costs, is does Invisalign or clear aligner treatment hurt? And every single time I look them in the eye and say, yes, yes, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt because we're moving teeth. We're moving teeth through the bone, through the jaw, into a straighter position. And if it doesn't hurt, then I don't quite know if we're actually really moving anything. But I always tell them it's never going to hurt as much as they think. Because unlike braces, where big movements are made at each new adjustment, clear aligners have micro movements programmed into them. And so the whole teeth moving process is significantly less painful. The most painful tray is usually going to be your very first aligner. It's gonna feel the tightest and it's gonna be where you feel the most pressure. It's usually because your teeth hasn't moved in decades, if ever, especially if you've never had orthodontic treatment as a child or teenager. And there hasn't been any changes in your mouth since you lost your baby teeth. And then all of a sudden you're starting Invisalign treatment. And so of course, there's gonna be some pain with this first tray. The good news is that the pain usually subsides after two to four days after this initial set. And the soreness that you feel with each new aligner tray will get shorter and shorter, lasting between one to three days. I can't tell you how many times patients came into our office asking us if their aligners are still working because they don't feel any pain anymore. And I'd always tell them that their teeth are just now used to moving. And so every new aligner tray that they put in feels less painful if, if they feel anything at all. And so many of them would respond by saying, I miss the pain. You're probably watching this because you're in pain. You're not missing the pain yet. And so with that being said, here are 10 effective tips to help reduce Invisalign or clear aligner pain. Number one, wear your aligners. Although it might seem like common sense, wearing your aligners is the best way to reduce aligner pain. Keeping them in for as long as possible and not taking them out all the time is going to help kind of solidify the aligners around your teeth and just keep them in its new position. When you keep removing your aligners or taking them in and out, or putting them in and out of your mouth, it kind of shifts your teeth back to where your teeth used to be. And then when you put your aligners back in, it's shifting them back into the new position. So keeping your aligners in for as long as possible is the best way to help reduce that pain. Number two, alternate between using a hot and cold compress. Your cheeks and your jaws are gonna be super tense during this time, the muscles will be tense. And so using a hot and cold compress alternating as if you had sore muscles is going to help relieve the pain and relax the tense jaw muscles because so much work is being done in your mouth at this time. Number three, massage your jaws. Massaging your jaws and going all the way up towards the earlobes helps to relieve the pain and again, relax these tense jaw muscles because so much is going on in your mouth right now. Number four, eat softer foods. Eating softer foods minimizes the strain in your mouth and your jaws during these first few days of discomfort with your aligner trays. So eat eggs, soft breads, oatmeal, tofu, all of the soft stuff until you can start chewing just a bit more normally. Number five, use aligner removal tools to help remove your aligners. When you're struggling to remove your aligners, especially when you're not used to removing them yet or it's the first aligner tray that you're in, it's gonna feel agonizingly slow and painful trying to take your aligners out with your fingers. Using a aligner removal tool like the Bite Me or Pull Me is going to help remove the aligner a lot quicker and faster so that you feel the pain less. I always tell our patients using a removal tool like the pull me or bite me is like ripping a band-aid off. 
It'll help pop your liners out easily so that you're just feeling that pain less. Number six, use aligner seating tools like the Bite Me. Aligner seating tools not only help you to seat your aligners in all the way, but it's going to also help massage your gums. By biting down and around from one end to the other, it's going to reduce the soreness that's typically caused by new aligners. And again, the reason why you feel sore with each new aligner is because the new micro movement is programmed into it, and so your teeth are moving into its new position. By using an aligner seating tool, it's going to help get the blood flowing into the area and it'll just make your teeth feel so much better. Number seven, switch to your new aligner trays after your last meal. Constantly removing your aligners for eating, drinking, or brushing your teeth is going to make your teeth feel even more sore. So when it's time to change into your new aligners, switch into them after your last meal of the day so that your teeth has time to get used to these new aligners, to these new movements. And most likely you're gonna go to bed after your last meal anyway. And so you won't be taking them in and out, which will help you feel less pain. Tip number eight, dealing with roughness. Occasionally there's going to be a little bit of roughness with your aligners, it's very normal. Just use a clean nail file to gently smooth out the edge that's rough. If you feel like you have to cut a piece off, contact your dental office and let them know so that they can walk you through that process. Number nine, canker sores. Some patients may get attachments to help with the movements that are programmed into their aligners. Your mouth might need some time to get used to the new attachments on your teeth and it might cause canker sores. Keep your aligners in for as long as possible to help your canker sores heal and callus over so that your mouth can get used to having attachments. We usually tell our patients to gargle with warm, salty water to help the canker sores heal faster or use a canker aid medication like Xylactin. Tip 10, pain relievers. If all else fails, try an over-the-counter pain reliever such as ibuprofen, aspirin, or acetaminophen to avoid the discomfort. It's especially helpful when you're switching into a new aligner tray. And don't forget to follow its instructions and suggest a dosage. Starting your Invisalign or clear aligner journey is going to take some getting used to and it's important to acknowledge that discomfort can be a part of the process. As I mentioned, the initial discomfort that you're gonna feel with the first aligner tray will be the worst. And then soon it'll be painless as you progress through your treatment. You might also be one of those patients who start to miss the pain with each new aligner tray. Hopefully you'll find at least one out of the 10 tips that I shared today to be helpful for you when you're in pain or in discomfort. All of our patients always said by the end of their treatment, that the experience was worth it to get the smile of their dreams. And I'm hoping you do too. Thanks for watching and the best of luck on your clear aligner journey. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and share it just so that other patients who are in clear aligner treatment have another resource that they can reference back to. Happy pulling.